Um, well, Ryan, what can you say about what can you say about that gaffer? Yeah, fantastic performance, uh, fantastic goals uh, to keep a clean sheet. We, we we can't get too high or too low. You know, we had a disappointing result Saturday, but the lads still played well in, in different departments. And tonight, they were fantastic. So, uh, really pleased that I was um and and maybe making a few changes, but. The Carabao Cup, you know, in the second round, now you can get any of the Premier League teams and although we're probably never going to go on and win it, we want to compete in every competition we're in and tonight was no difference. Yeah, they made a few changes but ultimately they're a championship outfit and we've played some good football, we've created plenty of chances, we've counter-pressed them loads. You know, I think my chairman will be happy tonight. There's a lot of XGs I think that have gone on there but <laughs> probably ex- we probably expect that week in, week out but again, you know, the lads have took a little bit of information on because we haven't really been able to do too much work with them, more recovery. But they were fantastic, every single one of them. They've worked the socks off there today. I'm really pleased. So we'll get the recovery in now for, for tonight and tomorrow and then we'll, we'll, we'll be ready to train Thursday, Friday for another important league encounter on Saturday. Now, like you say, you know, this is a championship side. This is a side that got promoted last year. Would have, you know, sky high in confidence themselves. And to put four past them on their ground... Yeah. Their first home game is really impressive, I think. Yeah, it is, it is impressive, but we can't get too carried away, you know, as I say, look, they are the championship thing and they've probably got bigger fish to fry with all due respect because they want to entertain in the championship and stay in the championship and a lot of their big hitters and big players, but they've still got quality. They, you know, some of them players, they've paid a lot of money for on the pitch and, you know, in terms of what they're trying to do and with all due respect, Peter are a fantastic outfit, fantastic club and we've come here, yeah, OK, we've dominated a lot of the ball and we've, we, we've, we've made some great chances and we've scored some good goals, but... You know, I can't, I can't get too excited in that. I've just got to, you know, take level-headed, if you like, because, again, you know, it's just one game and we've got to now have that consistency, as I said. The strikers and the attacking players were fantastic. The defenders were top draw, you know, clean sheet and Mike pulling off good save in the last couple of minutes. So that's what we want. We, we want that as a team. You know, we press as a team, we, we organise as a team and everything we asked them to do today, they've done to a man. So I'm pleased, but now the, the focus moves off the Carabao Cup and, and moves on to, to the league on Saturday. Just on this game again, I was going to mention the defence. You know, the plaudits will probably from outside be at the strikers. Four goals, plenty of chances. But, you know, other than right at the end, I can't remember Peter having too many clear shots on Mike Cooper's goal, did they? No, and, and, and again, you know, I think um, credit where credit is due to, to the back lads and, you know, the organisation. We, we, we do work, unit work with them and we discuss and, you know, video analysis with the units and. And you know their jobs are to keep the back door shut, shut, and the attacking lads are there to attack and, and score goals and create goals like they did. Uh, but they're immense, and we, we don't want that many shots on target. You know we want Mike to be as less busy as we possibly can. That's not always going to be the case. You know, people try to play football and fair play. That's what they're about. And we play football. It was, just, it was a good footballing game, really. Um, and obviously we had the chances and created and, and scored them, and they didn't have many too many chances. Uh, and if they did get through, then Mike was there to stop it. So, yeah, again, look, I'm really pleased. The performance was was very very good, uh, but it's just one. You know, now we move on to the league, and we've got to have them consistent performance performances week in week out, mm. uh, especially at home park because we're, we're really excited to get back and, and, and see the fans on Saturday. Come to that in just a second. Two games in four days, I think it is. Danny Mayer came off today. Do you kind of have anything to say about what what he he felt or what he's gone no, through there? Well, he, he just felt a little bit tight in his quad, and I can't take no chances. You know, we, we had a couple of injuries and whatnot, and I don't want to. That's what I said to you. I was I was dicing with making a few changes because, you know, but ultimately have to respect the competition, respect that our lads want to win and want to play every game and you know, so Dan, I took him off straight away because I felt if it didn't take him off and he wanted to stay on and he went down and come back on and then I said, just get him off. So he, he's, he's alright, you know, he's walking, he's fine, he's on the pitch at the end, so hopefully precaution, uh, hopefully it's nothing too major. Uh, he felt it, you know, in the game, so I think it's just a little bit of fatigue and tightness, hence why we're, we're going to stay over tonight in the hotel and we'll do all our recovery tomorrow morning with them and you can get a proper good night's sleep because otherwise we wouldn't get back till till late late doors and then they're struggling to get off for recovery. So we'll do it all to, to, to be looked after tonight and tomorrow, we'll get the right foods in them, to be in the pool tomorrow, the ice baths, the massages and we'll assess them, but hopefully it'll be all right. Just finally, you mentioned the fans, obviously um, a result like this is probably going to get a few more coming through the doors. It's, it's going to be a great occasion on Saturday, isn't it? It is. It's going to be a great occasion no matter what, because we've missed them. So if there's going to be 12,000, 14,000, whatever's going to be there, 
uh, we're, we're really looking forward to seniors um, and as they did today in the small numbers in terms of what was the 200 or so yeah, 200 and 300 fantastic support on a Tuesday night to Peter we want that they sang right the way through they're going to have to do that every young game for us because we're going to need them and the lads in there even then saying wow you know, all them lot flat, uh, driving this, this hour of the day and the night and getting back early hours to support us so really looking forward to seeing them hopefully it's a packed home park and hopefully we'll try our best to put on a performance like we did today